Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of faraway land, where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight's scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Max. And I'm Poppy. Our first story is going to leave you wondering just who to believe. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer of Mr. Wolf claims hay fever is to blame, but is the client really... Oh wait, bleh. the client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter, Angus Whitmore. Dang it! <laughs> I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf. Mr. Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Misunderstood and victimised. Let's get one thing straight. There are always two sides to the story. And have you noticed there's usually four sides to any house? It's a huge science and discovery, the most vulnerable to the win. <coughs> You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf really? I've been forced by you and the media to change my occupa occupation. Impersonating others seemed, something, seemed like something I could be good at. Being a sheep was easy. And as for that grandmother, well, I got right into that part. I am now working on perfecting my impersonations of a news reporter. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? Hello, good people. Be afraid. Be very afraid. You'll never know who, as, or where you'll see me next. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the, tr with the trial. Back to the studio. Now for the news of the escaped kidnap heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media re resonance last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds Ate Our Breadcrumbs, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Emily Rose was at the book release in the deep dark forest, the scene of their terrible tale. Damn. Hello, I'm Emily Rose and with me here are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending that money? Oh, country, chicken out cruise options, but ones with no parents allowed. We're we'll also getting advice on investing what's left once we build matching castles. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? Luckily, while we were in the witch house, we found a book of spells that told us how to build a thin gun. The rest was easy. What have you learned through this experience? Not to trust adults, particularly parents. And if you're ever lost in the woods, be really suspicious of seemingly nice old ladies promising you sweets. Well, thank you for your time. Back, back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that not all is well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales on their album of duets, scores are saying that the happily ever after might not last much longer. We go to our reporter, Briar. Thanks, Max. And hello, everyone. I'm Briar here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast. And hello and smooches to the both of you. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell apart against the, fell, fell in love against the odds. How's it all going with you two? It was amazing at first. However, now I've found this man to be honestly disgraceful. The only show of manners is when the maid is present, never cleans up after himself. In fact, you find here wherever he's been. So you're something of a beauty beauty, and you're a total beast beast. What's the reality of living with someone who is completely different from you? It's like we are on a reality show. He hardly ever shows me any affection, and when he does, I need a lint roller. He sheds. Your recent duet album did not sell well, and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Well, we've mastered failure in a very short space of time. There seems no option but to go separate ways. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best for your um, futures. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Briar. Now it's time for a faraway land weather update with Larica, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week. Well, there will be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway Kingdom districts. Batten down the hatches as there is every chance of unseasonable property damaging gusts of wind. Stay out of the deep dark forest. There is still a possibility of 
hay or shaped like chubba chubs. Those sticks can do damage. Moving down the land, the green fields will be covered in mysterious hairy clumps that stick to your clothes. And finally, in the west, watch out for hot blow drying winds. These leave you feeling the need to hide away and cover up. Dodge these, stay safe, and don't believe everything you see. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Larica. Finally tonight, the long-haired tower dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under a hairdryer. And now the results of the hair were so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and her reputation. Here's our reporter, Reid. Thank you. I'm here, I'm here outside court where the first day of the lawsuit has just finished and here comes the princess Rapunzel. How did you react when you saw what happened to your hair? I still find it hard to talk about it. And my first thought was it has to be some cruel trick, but what had I ever done to deserve this? I hardly knew the stylist. What do you have to say to the owner of the Sleeping Beauty Salon who ruined your hair, career and your reputation? My lawyers are preparing our case. I just hope you have enough insurance because you'll never work in this town again. What are you going to do about your hair? Can it be fixed? It will be fixed, but it's all about the time it's going to take and the lovely princess who almost getting a chance to rescue me. Well, thank you for coming for, for your hair time, Rapunzel. Back to the studio. That's all for tonight. Although we've just gotten word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is angry and he is angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good, Good night. night.